Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMadeVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you a few things you can do if you're having problems with your touchscreen on your Nintendo Wii U. So either the touchscreen's not working at all or it's not calibrated properly. So for example, you go to press something and it's not corresponding to where you're pressing it or a part of the screen is not working. So some of it's working fine and then for example the bottom half's not working. By following the steps in the video, hopefully one of these steps will work and then you won't have to send this in for repair. Now, first things first, you've got to ensure that the Wii U is placed to minimise interference. So this is the list that Nintendo say you should keep it away from. So basically they say to keep it out in the open, so you don't want it behind the TV. So if it was crammed behind the TV, it could pick up interference. It says don't place it anywhere near an aquarium. So if you had a big fish tank with a big body of water, that can also affect the signal between the Wii U console and the gamepad because it's using a 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi signal so interference can affect it from working. It also says don't place it near or on a large metal object so obviously if there was some big metal container don't place it near here because that could affect the signal. It says don't press it against a large amount of wires and cords so again if it was crammed behind the TV and you've got a lot of audio visual equipment there you could have a load of wires pressed up against it which again can induce interference onto it. It also says keep it three or four feet away from other wireless devices or other sources of interference such as microwaves and even things like your router or router if you're in the rest of the world that can all cause an issue so a prime example would be for example you've got a cordless deck phone here in between here and here that could cause a problem now it's not going to be easy to keep this three or four feet away from other electrical equipment but what I would say is just get rid of the phone just for the time being or put it well out of the way just while you're doing your testing if it starts working again you know now that it's an easy thing to fix you just move the phone to a different location or you keep moving this away until the touchscreen starts working again So what we want to do, we want to make sure that the L and the R stick are in a neutral position, so they are sitting in the middle there, and we want to get the A and the B button and the plus and the minus button, and we want to hold them down for three seconds all at the same time. So I'm going to hold down the A and B and the plus and the minus. One, two, three. Now. It does say it won't give you any indication and it doesn't give you any indication, but that's how you reset your L and your R sticks. So now see if the touchscreen's working now, because if one of these sticks was off, so for example, you turned on the console when it was slightly to the right or slightly to the left, it might have had that as the neutral position and that can affect your touchscreen because it could be whizzing away to the left hand side or the right hand side and you're not knowing why it might be because this thinks that the neutral is not actually neutral it might be slightly off and it might think that that's neutral right next if that doesn't make a difference remove the screen protector if you've bought a screen protector for it then remove it because although it's annoying that you're going to have to go out and get another screen protector if it's not working properly you need to get to the bottom of it and if there was dirt or an air bubble or something stopping it from working it could be a simple fix if it's just a screen protector so remove the screen protector and now see if it's working fine Right now this one here will probably be the one that will actually fix it. What you need to do is you need to get a brand new toothbrush. So if it was medium or hard bristles it would be best. But if you've only got for example a soft one still give it a go. Now this sounds like madness but this does work in a lot of instances. For example let's say if the top part of the screen wasn't working properly. What you could have is you could have debris, dust, bit of food or something caught in between the touch screen and the black plastic. So what you want to do is you want to power off your Wii U and then what we want to do is we want to get the toothbrush and we want to apply a little bit of pressure to the screen, not too much. So let's say if we had an issue with this top right hand section, press down on the screen, obviously not too hard, so you create a little bit of a gap, you see there? 
just creating a little bit of a gap in between the screen and the black thing and you want to get a dry toothbrush it has to be a new toothbrush you don't want to be inserting anything wet and dirty up there because if this is used you could be putting bits of toothpaste up there and that could make the problem worse so it has to be dry has to be new and what you want to do is and also don't use things like screwdrivers because then you're going to end up damaging the screen as well as that you see the plastic on the toothbrush don't allow the plastic off the toothbrush to be rubbing against the screen either because that can damage it you just want the bristles so apply a bit of pressure there and get the bristles up there and basically let gravity do its work so if this side's faulty don't hold it down like that hold it like this so the debris can fall out of it And just do that and work it along and try to get the dirt and the debris out of it. So obviously if your touch screen's not working anywhere, do it all the way around. Do all the sides. So you can't see it, but the bristles are actually going up there. You can probably hear that some of them are getting scraped up there. If you have a look now, you can see a few of them are up there. Okay, again, if this side's faulty, let gravity do its work. So you push in the screen here and rub along there. The bottom's faulty, same thing again. So you might have to repeat this a few times. So if it still doesn't work, just try it again. So try it two or three times and then hopefully that will solve the problem. Now try recalibrating the screen because if the screen isn't doing what you want it to, it might just need a recalibration. So what we need to do is get your little stylus out of the back. This isn't the actual one for the Wii U. Again, it doesn't have to be this. You could even use the point of a lid pen if you've lost your stylus. And you need to go to system settings and you need to go across until you come to the Wii U gamepad and have a look here it says calibrate the touch screen so we want to tap the Wii U gamepad and we want to tap the calibrate touch screen now it says take the stylus from the Wii U gamepad which I've done that's just normally kept in this part here okay and it says touch that symbol on the touch screen with the stylus to cancel press B so we want to make sure that you don't touch out here or anything you want to be pretty exact so you want to be touching the middle of this point and then it's asking you to do one on the bottom and then it's going to ask you to do one in the bottom right and the top right and it says calibration complete touch the symbol to test the calibration so now if I hit here you can see it's working okay if I was to go outside of that you see it's not working but when I go on it it recognizes it again elsewhere it's not doing anything but when I go on it it works so your screen might have just needed calibration the touch screen has been calibrated so now see if it's working now remember, if you are having problems with your touch screen, then you can just use a directional pad and A to get to where you want to go. Yeah, and then when you get to the right one, press A, and then you can choose calibrate touch screen, and then you can use the stylus to do the bit you need. Okay, and now the last option, if none of that has worked, is to re boot your Wii U because it could be as simple as just rebooting it so what you need to do is you need to go over to the console itself and you need to hold down the power button for a full four seconds and then it will turn itself off then when you turn it back on make sure you don't touch anything on the gamepad so don't touch the analog sticks don't touch the touch screen or any buttons just turn it on from here and then hopefully that will have rebooted it so it's like power cycled it and that might have solved the problem so here we go, I'm going to hold this down for four seconds. One, and two, and three, and four. Okay, and we've got the red light, so it's gone out. Now, if for some reason, if that's not working, what you'll have to do is you'll have to actually unplug it 
from the power supply for 15 seconds, leave it for 15 seconds. But now when I go to turn this back on, I'm not going to touch the gamepad, I'm just turning it back on from here. So just tap it on and you will see it will come up with a different message on screen and that shows it's been rebooted. I'm just going to fast forward through this bit because it takes a while. And there you go, it comes up with holding the power button for at least four seconds forces the console to shut down. To switch off the console normally, please hold the power button for one second. This screen will be displayed if the console was forced to shut down the last time it was used, which it was. So now we can just go to OK and hopefully now one of those options will fix your touchscreen. If none of that's working, then unfortunately it looks like it probably will need to go in for repair. If you've got any other options that's worked, please add them to the comments to help other people. If any of these options has worked, again, add it to the comments and then other viewers will know what's worked for them. You'll be surprised, the very popular thing that works is the toothbrush, and that is actually recommended by Nintendo as well. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care, bye now.